Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. So first thing first, if you have not already joined the family guys, please make sure to click on the subscribe button and then click on the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos. All right, so I did have a lot of you guys message me and ask me different questions on ways to start envelopes, well cash envelopes. Um, I'm going to show you the method that I kind of use for stuffing my cash envelopes. There's no right or there's no wrong way um, for you to start doing this because like I said everybody's budget is not the same so if you have a different method that you are using then I would say and if it's working for you go ahead and first starting out um, before you start you do not have to have any fancy envelopes at all you can start off with just I'm just gonna be using some props in these videos you can start off with just regular um, just mailing envelopes and you just basically put what the category is on there if it's groceries if it's food or if it's fun and then also if you don't want to spend money to get these envelopes you can also when you go to the um, teller window you can actually ask for extra cash envelopes from the teller and they will give you some so that way you can just start off with that to see if the cash envelope stuffing system is going to work for you some people are um, able to use cash and some people are able to use a debit card and work like that for me personally I have to use cash all right guys so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the things that I think that you should um, well, these are not think, these are more like little methods to do to get started with your cash envelopes if you're new in the budget world. All right, so I'm just gonna basically use my iPad today. Um, and I just wrote all over there, I am doing the most. So um, I'm just gonna use this just for, so we won't be wasting paper. So the first so thing we're gonna do is starting envelopes. And you guys will probably hear Thomas the Train in the background, I'm just gonna highlight this. And I like to highlight. All right. So the first thing first is what you need to do is basically is acknowledge your debt. And I'm just going to write just like this. And my handwriting is not the prettiest, guys. All right. So acknowledge that you have debt and that you need to pay the debt off. So that is the first step in starting your envelopes, knowing that you have a spending problem and you need to fix it. All right. So two, what I did was basically start with listing your bills. All right. So what you need to do is figure out what you are spending um, for every month for your monthly bills, like for electricity, for your car insurance, for your um, cell phone bill, just things that you have to pay every single month, which is like a utility bill or things that keeps your life going. All right, so next you need to do is, um, I pretty much started with my income. So I wrote down how much income I got a month. This could be your side hustle. This could be your um, regular income, your nine to five job, or it could be like alimony, or it could be child support, or it could be anything that you get that's extra cash for you to have as income coming into the household. All right, so next things next. I can't remember if I said this or not, but y'all probably will hear Thomas the train in the back because Aiden is watching TV, so he's sitting down watching TV. So I just figured, I was like, well, let me just go ahead and knock this video out the way. All right, so next thing what um, I think you should be able to do is write down your daily spending. So basically, what got me in this debt? Was it impulse spending? Or like for me as an example, my thing was Dollar Tree. That was something that would always, I would go in there and I would just be like, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and get this. It's just the dollar. But in my mind at the time, that dollar did not add up. But now I'm like, if I go in there and spend $2 and I keep spending $2 every day I work, that's $10. You know what I'm saying? For the five days that I work. So um, you have to kind of have a mindset like that. And then also what you need to do is make sure to gather your receipts so that you can see what you're spending. 
So when you gather all of your Dollar Tree receipts, that's exactly what I did. And I saw that I was going down there and I was like spending like $15 a pop here, $10 a pop there. And then I was like, by the end of the week, I didn't spend like $50 at the dollar store and it didn't have nothing to show for it. So I was just like, oh my gosh. But I didn't realize that until I sat down and I thought about all of my daily spending that I had to do. And then also with groceries, things that can get out of control, which groceries can get out of control if you don't have like a budget for that or if you don't have like meal planning. But the thing about it is I was going to the store when I was freaking hungry. And that is the worst thing to do, they say, to go to the store when you're hungry. Because you start to put everything in the basket, like your meal plan that you had goes out the window, your grocery list goes out the window, you see them chocolate chip cookies, and you're just like, mm, I'm starving, I gotta get those. So that was another thing that's kind of like out of control. Just things that you know that you spend, if you get coffee all the time, that's another different thing. If you're stopping every morning to get a $5 or $6 cup of coffee, not saying that's a bad thing, but those things do add okay. up. Okay, so five, um, we're gonna take, this is what you need to do. Take the most important one of your spending. <laughs> so after you take the most important one of um, your spending you need to put which one is a priority okay like for me gas was a priority because i needed that to get to work and another one that was a priority was groceries and another one that was a priority was my son's envelope which is for pampers and baby wipes these are things that I can't get around. I need gas to go to work. My groceries, you have to eat, you have to live. For groceries, I would pack my lunch so that I would take that to work so I wouldn't spend money on snacks or spend money on stopping at like Arby's or stopping at Burger King. So it kind of like all goes together. And then with Aiden's envelope, um, I had to put money aside for that for Pampers and for baby wipes because that is a non-negotiable. You have to get Pampers, you have to get baby wipes and those things are straight out of control all right so after you figure out which one is the most important what you want to do is to see after you subtract your income from your listing of bills you want to see how much you have left over so we got money left over in my handwriting is awful okay so then you want to take that and you want to split that between the envelopes that you're going to use so you don't have to have like a whole bunch of envelopes when i first started off i had up a little envelopes that i had but um and then as i progressed and was able to have side hustle money i was able to put more envelopes into the mix and then i was able to do sinking funds and add that to it but i had to make sure that i got the basics to start off because if you're starting to do like 10 envelopes and you're just starting your budget you're going to pretty much overwhelm yourself and pretty much make yourself confused so if you have to start with two envelopes that's fine and then when you go maybe two three months later add a couple more envelopes then so be it then that's what you need to do you know you need to figure out something that will work for you all right so the money that's left over so for example um for example like this is my cash i'm just going to use this as an example for my cash envelopes i have like hair and beauty and i have like dollar tree i have those in here so i kind of figure out what i normally spend like the dollar tree i know i can go there and spend and get a lot of just random stuff so i give myself like a small limit because it makes it so much easier to go there and say hey i got 10 or 15 dollars and that's all i have and after that it's you have to wait till next pay period which is two weeks because i'm paid bi-weekly all right so like for gas i give myself 30 bucks and that will be for two weeks because I don't have to go too far and my son's daycare is close to my work. Groceries, what I do, I budget it usually 90 to $100. And sometimes I'll make a crack pot of pinto beans and cornbread because I love those. And um, that will last you a long time. Spaghetti and then also the spaghetti I can take to work for lunch. And also those of you that follow my channel, um, know that I do I'll show you guys meal plan budget worksheet so this here is what I do to figure out what I need for each um, cash envelope stuff and this is a little close I know that but um, I know it's like woo all in the shrink 
All right, so we got total of groceries and then what I budget and then actual and then I take this and I do my cash envelope stuffing. And then the money that I'm using for to break down, I do use my cash and I will actually show you guys the one that I've just done. Um, and I do cash envelope breakdown. So this is a nice sheet. There's a lot of different people that make these sheets right here where you can use to write down how much you're adding. I always put how much I have left and then the denominations. So that's a good way to break down what you need to put for your cash envelopes so you will know. And then along with that, I actually use a um, cash envelope breakdown sheet. So when I do go to the teller line, I do know what I need and this goes along with what's on my book. So this is just something I can just take with me. So that's a good way to um, make sure that you have your cash denominations ready down and already kind of pre-planned for it. All right. So um, other things that I do is like for hair and beauty. I know I have a hair appointment, so I put money aside for that and I have nail appointment personal stuff like deodorant um i do need to get a new wristband because this one is i don't know these apple watches the pink one every time i get one of these it just gets so um i don't know what to call it it just gets so dirty filthy whatever you want to call it. so i take sanitized wipes and i try to wipe it but it doesn't bring the color back to it so um for my personal stuff in I am going to be getting me a watch band off of Amazon. So I will be getting that. So then also you have like planning and budgeting. So that is where you can figure out how much you're going to allow yourself to have on the side. So that way you will have a set amount. So once you get to that amount that's in that envelope, you're like, okay, I don't, I can't spend anything else. That's all I have budgeted. And that way you're not dipping into your other money and your electricity money or your water bill money and your, you know what I'm saying? Then you come up short and then you're using your credit cards. All right. So the next thing is you want to track your spending from your envelope or should I say envelopes so actually what that is is some people use um sheets to track some people use i use my micro happy notes from my um that i use to track my expenses so when i buy something out of my envelope i write it in there and this is what i use i just keep this in my purse or i keep this in my car so i can just write down the things that i spend and so that way i have like a this is just all different ones i just have a record of what i need to spend so when i do my tracking it's easy to transfer the amounts or some people also do like um envelope slips like they do like the budget slips <laughs> i said envelope slips budget slips so then we have this envelope wallet here this is the conscious wallet i do miss using this this is the cutest little wallet ever and um i do have the link in the description box if you are interested in this you get all this stuff with it but like this here you have this envelope some and this is just like a um just a tracker ledger that you can have to track all of your spending and you can keep up with your balance in your envelope and like i said this is like the cutest cutest wallet ever all right so that's how some people use where they write down their um balances and keep track of everything all right so next thing we have is what are you going to do with the loose change that you have from your spending of your cash in your cash envelopes okay so for loose change um some people do coin challenges and coin challenges is that they just put all of their coin inside of a bank um you can find any bank they have this bank i found this at the dollar store a long time ago um and you can just put coins in here or you can get the ones that i do have one that counts the coins um but you can just do this to put all your coin and some people count it at the end of the year or they count it after three months or they count it after six months totally um they just do it different things it's just like so interesting how people do their coin challenges um or you can take the loose change to once you get it stacked up in your um, bank or your box or whatever you can take that roll it up and then put it towards debt that way i was doing at the first i was doing that to pay down debt that is also a good idea and then also you can turn them into one dollar bills so if you are doing a one dollar challenge you can take those coins roll them take them to the bank and get all one and then put that inside of your one dollar challenge and my one dollar challenge i've been using this um, picture box here 
Um, so that's what I've actually been using for that. And I have done where I exchanged my change for dollars to put that in there. So like I said, it's just up to you. And then once you change over the coins to the $1 bills, a lot of people do $1 challenge, which I was just saying, means that if you come across any $1 bills, um, you just put those to the side and you just save them until you count them for whenever you want to cash them in or you want to do a check-in to see how many ones you have or people do five dollar challenges so if you have any one dollar bills left in your um, cash envelopes or if you have change or if you have five dollar bills you can do those type of challenges so and then i put mines towards debt and then also some of the envelopes that i have i do roll them over into the next cash stuff and what i mean by that is that just for example for like my health and beauty envelope um if I have like $20 and I know that I have a, a nail appointment coming up, which is $35 and then I do a tip. I will keep that $20 in that envelope so that won't go towards my debt, but I will add the remaining of what I need $20 to my envelope so that when I go to get my nails done, I have that full amount of cash for my nails to get done. Now, also for my son Aiden's um, envelope, what I would do would take his, I would usually have like $20, 25 or 30 dollars because i had to buy boxes of pampers and i did utilize fetch rewards and um i'm telling you guys i know i talk about fetch rewards a lot but fetch rewards is like awesome i'll put the link in the description box for you you just basically scan receipts and then you get points and then you redeem them for gift cards you can do visa gift cards you can do target i've done amazon um you can do chipotle you can do whatever just look on there and scroll down to see what type of cards that you can redeem some of them i know it goes up to 50 dollars worth of gift cards but if you stack them janks up you should be good so um i know with his i would get the um, money out of it i would buy pampers and then i would buy wipes and then whatever i had left over i would roll it over because i know that i had to get pampers and wipes again and those things are super expensive so that's what i would do and then i would just roll it over now since he is out of pampers i usually put like 15 maybe 20 dollars in his envelope whatever is left in that envelope will be rolled over to his um sinking funds um envelope which is his savings so that will go over to that envelope so that's how that is going to work for that so um basically with the envelopes it's just easy to start is i think sometimes you get to the point where you're just so overwhelmed and you have so much going on so i think if you basically write everything down first and then go through and add your numbers up and see what you have because sometimes you might have more bills than you have income and you didn't even know it because you didn't write it down so then you have to figure out because if you do have that situation going on you can't maybe you might want to try something else with cash envelope stuffing or whatever whatnot so you just have to play you just have to tweak it you just have to figure out what works for you and that is the end guys of my um video for starting cash envelopes i hope this helped you if you have any more questions please put them in the comments because i do not mind um reading them and i do not mind responding to them and then if you did like this video guys please give it a thumbs up because you know that your girl surely do appreciate it and then like i always say until next time guys peace